Hello, I'd like to show you a, a collection class test, a custom collection class that I'm building for uh, agent-based simulation. Um, as I found that the other classes aren't able to uh, simulate um, polymorphism, um, you know, in very specific um, custom-made classes um, such as this. So um, here it is, um, and this class. Uh, uses the you know a certain class type with a template that I can pass in. It could be any any of this, could be a simple turn on uh you know any of the non-abstract classes. So um, this is a dynamic allocation uh, exercise and there's a resize function so that you know, we may start with say um, two objects and as it increases um, and gets larger it automatically reassigns and get the array to increase in the size. Now, um, it's very important for um, uh, about two things that's needed in agent-based simulation. One of them is that uh, you have to be able to support um, your very quick addition and removal of agents, um, you know, from a large collection, say a few millions. And we might be testing that later. And the other one is the uh, uh, polymorphism function you know that allows you to um, ha have a cascade you know of inherited among objects uh, of uh, different types um, at the lower level of the um, say food chain so I'm going to give it a test and um, uh, first we are just filling up arrays you know um, testing them removing them um, printing them and also um, you yeah, make it bigger, filling with sizes, and later we're going to test the polymorphism uh, function. So let's um, give this a a compile. Let's run it. So um, this is working pretty okay. Um, as you can see. Um, it's um, filling up, you know, with size zero at first and then size eight. Removing four becomes size seven. Um, removing a certain uh, memory room address. Um, so and then we have the uh, printing. It's printing from zero, one, three, five, six, seven. And as we remove them, the sizes become smaller. Okay, around here. And then we're printing all objects, showing the size, clearing them, and then reprinting filling with 30 objects. Um, now we're gonna what we're gonna do is to uh, um, comment out the whole section. Okay. And then we're going to test the polymorphism. Right, uh, let's fill it with 30 objects first. Okay, and see how, how far we can go. So, at first, you know, we're going to just um, have 30 objects of uh, different types. And um, and this is uh, one of them, so it's filling up the C transform. And uh, it's also there's also a, a, a simple turn and then C organism, so it's adding equal objects in. So my Dropbox keeps uh, <laughs> updating the files, and, and we're also working on the other system, my laptop beside me. Um, compile it. Okay, see, so this is polymorphism working. In every object, you know, the C transform prints out only the vectors. Vector 3F uh, is another class of creator. And it's also uh, C simpleton prints out the ID, and also C organism prints out also the IDs. So that's working. Um, let's say um, we increase this to 300. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so it's printing 
yeah, um, different objects, you know, from different uh, classes that were that were that was added, you know, uh, during runtime. Now, um, one thing to do is to actually print, see how far we can go. Let's not print it so that um, we get you know sort of a quicker process of ten thousand agents. Okay, and it's 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 doing all right. What about a hundred thousand? Okay, that's also doing okay. So it's a total byte size of all the different objects. What about one million? That's also okay. And um, one million. Okay, and um, what about 10 million? Okay, that takes a little bit longer. But that's it, it's done. So that is the file size 30330. Zero, zero, zero. So that's about um, 200 uh, megabytes. Okay. Now, um, what if we increase this to 50,000? Let's see what happens. Okay, so because um, my Linux is running in a, a virtual box, a virtual machine, an Oracle VM virtual box, so I've only assigned a certain memory size to it, um, so there's a limit. But as you can see, it's, it's working very well, um, it's taking a lot of um, uh, different types of objects and then up, you know, um, you, we pull off some different functions, prints different things. You know, it's also taking lots of agents, and that's what we needed. So if we have lots of agents, um, then we can have, you know, a landscape full of trees, animals, um, uh, human beings uh, running around um, for simulating large landscape um, effects. Okay, <laughs> it's not handling it. I'm killed because it's taking too much memory. Three, four, five, six. Okay, because I've I've only assigned one one gigabyte to it, so that's killed it. But you, you can see that it's working very very well. Um, so I'm very happy. And thanks for watching.